You're absolutely right. This is really bad. No air. There's no air. There's nothing coming out. Can you reach up there and feel that? Let me see. Hold you on. No, you, generally, I can feel it. There's nothing. Absolutely nothing, Billy. Can you grab the chair and put your hand right up against it? I just want to see. Well, if I fall, I'll have a, uh, can I contact your lawyer? Yep. Can I contact him for, yep. a, law, for a lawsuit? Yep. Hold on. I need to have a napkin. I don't want to, I don't want to dirty the seat. Oh, Jimmy, Come on. Yeah, but, you know, I, I, out of respect for her. The other people. Oh, please. What do you think? Can I make it? Yeah. Alright. You feel anything up there? So far, no. Nothing. Zero. Nothing at all. Zero, Billy. Zero. Thank you. This is wrong. This is wrong. Zero. Nothing. Nothing coming out of all. Nothing is coming out. I just wanted to make sure before we told them. They said, there's no air. No, there's nothing coming out. I, I, over 90 degrees Fahrenheit, nothing coming out. It can break records and they won't give us air conditioning. What would they do if we called the Board of Health? Oh, my God. My, my pain, I feel like I'm, well, as I'm shifting in my seat, I, I feel everything's sticking. Swamp air. Yeah, right, which I don't have anymore <laughs> thanks to the Cyroflex shower head with detachable hose. Oh. Imported from Italy. This is insane. Because you're sure as hell not going to get a shower like that in an American store. I'm going to tell them he just yeah. climbed up there. There was nothing coming out. I was watching all the Democrats uh, protesting down in Brownsville, Texas. Good, good. Tearing uh, children away from their parents. It's heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Trump doesn't care. And that, and you know, I got, I got news for Trump and the Republicans. Um, applying for political asylum is legal for immigrants to apply for political asylum. Yeah, they know that. They said that's what they should do. Crossing the border is illegal. And right. everybody's saying this is still wrong. But, but they, but a lot of them are applying for asylum. Well, yeah, but nothing's getting done. I think they're doing it out of spite, probably out of racism. For spite. Yeah. Probably that. I saw that photo was so heartbreaking. L the little kid, little right Mexican shirt. kid yeah. crying in a cage. They had it in a cage. That's the world picture right now. Yeah. Oh, let me let me tell you what happened yesterday because I know you were taking a nap when I called you. I apologize. Oh, I, for that. That's okay. I was just tired. I, I said, uh, okay. Oh. Yesterday, as you well know, over ninety degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. I go I go to the small liquor store in downtown Lodi, own, owned and run by Indians. Right. I open the door. I walk in. I go. Oh my God! This feels fantastic. They had their central air cranked up to the max to the max. I says, I thank you so much for caring about your customers. Yeah. You know what they did? They looked down, they, they didn't even grunt at me, they didn't smile, they didn't say anything. No acknowledgement, right? I grabbed my port wine, bottle of Taylor port wine, right? Ready to check out. Young girl comes in, right away, they start smiling from ear to ear, flirting with her. I go, I just got them thanking you for, for thinking of your customers for cranking up your central air. I mean, it, you, it, you don't say nothing. They don't even grunt at me like a caveman. I, they, uh, what's his face? The, I don't know how they ended up with like 8,000 year old culture. They, with that personality, with that person, the personality that they have. Ask them to take a turn here. Tell them yeah. nothing. Not even a thank you or smile or anything. I hate to say it, but. You know, Away for William H. Morrow the third commercial voiceover artist to return as a courtesy. See, I am drinking my coffee with class with a cup and saucer. With a cup and sausage. Greetings, Commodore Jeff Zambello. Greetings. And Mick Von Raven. And Anthony Laura. 
and Mr. Mace Man, Rick Brown, Mr. Mace Man himself, and Mr. Ken Thiessen. In the summertime when the weather yeah, and then if you and then if you go to walk into a Seven Eleven, they stare at you like you're going to steal something. That's another. Well, no, my friends over here, they're not uh, Indian. They're Pakistani. Uh, Turkish. Oh, Turkish. Like, no, they're real. cool. The good people. I love Turkish food. Turkish food is awesome. Well, and you it's know, not the food. It's the people. And you know, they have the prettiest belly dances. I've seen yeah, all no, videos. No, Jimmy, you're getting off on your. It's just the nice people. Yeah, but saying. it's nice watching an attractive belly dance instead of a one that's well, cellulite. No, I'm saying they're and, nice know. people. That's my point. They're nice yeah. people. No, they're very nice people. Well, the owner, the owner of the buffet I go to every Friday is Turkish. I heard him over there. They Turkish. said it works over here. I said no. He just got up on the chair. There's nothing coming out. There's nothing. Nothing. There's when no I air. when I say not a puff, nothing. You don't believe it? Come so, over and so, so they're looking at us like, like we're the bad. Oh, guys. by the way, I just felt the, I just felt a cool breeze. Yeah. Well, why couldn't they put it on? Why couldn't they watch the weather report and then put it on in the morning? They, they knew this morning, Jimmy. I, you missed the point. I told Daisy, have that thing cranking this afternoon. It's going to be brutal. Well, somebody turned it off. Yeah. Well. I said, man, I said, you better have that thing on today because it's rough. I wonder how many people have walked out today and said, I've had enough. Maybe that's their general idea, so nobody... Well, then why do you want to own the goddamn business? Why, why own a franchise You don't with, want to run a property. With table, well, they don't... And why does McDonald's allow you to run it like this? You and, have a franchise agreement. You must abide by right. certain rules. Why aren't you doing and it? And the free Wi-Fi doesn't kick in. Nothing. Well, that's how you get right to the point. Bam, right. bam, bam. You know, well, if you want, if you want that so much silence, then why even leave the the apartment? What apartment? We told no, I'm saying, bam, bam, bam. I mean, what do you, uh, Emerald, Emerald uh, Lagazi? No, I told my like everybody. Get to get to the point. You love Matt. You and Matt would get along. Yeah, but you don't like communication with with human beings. You like everything like quick, like yeah, in spurts. I, I hate when stories are just drawn. Yeah, but anything over several words is drawn yeah, out to you. Oh, we used to get on men, I think I told you. It's, it's like being an android. All the guys used to stand there and go. It's like being Matt, a robot. Matt, get to your point. And these people that go... Well, you can't be rude also. Yeah, you can when you try to tell somebody, stop it. Stop it right now. Get to your point. Well, I, I know I know what rambling and we rambling told, we is. Told them, get to your point. Rambling is like... We told them... Uh, I know people that ramble. You're starting to ramble right now. But I, I made one sentence. How is that rambling? I'm trying to get a point here. I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, shit. You were talking about Matt. Oh. Your friend Matt. How he drags oh, on and on and on. Matt fits when he goes... And you want to know something? Oh, he talks slow? Yeah, we said, no, we don't. But he, but he tells us... You know what else? No... But you see what he's doing? He's telling his story very slowly. Oh, no, and it's leading. You don't need to say, and do you want to know something? You don't have to tell, ask us, do we want to know something? This old guy, Baba, the one, the one I called Popeye, the one I was yeah. right about. Everybody said, Billy is an asshole. He's mean to everybody. Nobody likes him. He said, you want to know what I think? I said, not really. What, what about this funny American custom? Yeah, not, not really. really. What, a, no. what about this funny American custom of constantly saying, you know, you know, you oh, know? Don't do that around me. No, I, you know what I say? Eileen, she's always, you know. You no, know, I don't know. know. And I say, no, I don't. No, I don't know, Eileen. What do you mean? Well, you know, I said, no, I don't know. Stop saying, do I know? I don't know, Eileen. Stop it. I said, stop asking if I know. It's a bad, modern American habit. I said, you're, I'm nervous. I said, then you are extremely nervous. And I'm asking you right now, what are you nervous about? I said, talk normal. Be concise. Get to your point. I said, my God. I, to I told her, she's, if you're under that much stress because of finances, why don't you go to Rochelle Park and apply for everything? Well, no, she no, no. Passage is better because you're out of the county. <laughs> 
I, you mm -hmm. can't get through. Well, Dad was right. You can't get through to people. Well, because your father know, knew from day they're, one. They're ignorant. Your father, they're no, your father knew from day one that common sense is severely lacking. There's not much of it in this world. You don't have to be a genius or have a high IQ. I told people more things and do it, and they've learned the hard way. Well, I didn't know. I said, you didn't know. I told you. You didn't listen, did you? Like when my grandfather told me when I was in high school, there is no need to rush up to a, uh, a stoplight when it turns red and wear your brake pads out. There's no need for yeah, that. You just you just roll to the light. So, it's, but these people just go and they go on and on, and that drives me insane. I had this BMW tailgate me right. He went around me only to stop at a red light. I said, oh, big shot, you're in a hurry. You had to stop at a red light. Well, we've all had those morons. You know, a big deal. And you do wear your brake pads out. I had that in the car when, when the Alero was new and it was fast as a bitch. Because that's got a big V6. I said, Matt, watch this. We were on 287. Yeah. Behind a Ferrari. I got close to him. He punched it. I punched it. Went boom, right around me. Wow, a Ferrari? Shit. I, I wouldn't drag race a Ferrari. Oh, well, I wouldn't. That car? I knew how fast it was. I knew when I blew a, B, a BMW and a Mercedes in 17 going to Barnes & Noble. They were going so slow, I put the whole front end dance. My, the front um, wheels bounced. And then it just threw you back like that. One of the Jerry Seinfeld episodes, he had a vintage uh, Pontiac GTO uh, oh, in the 1960s. Yeah. Had a big V8 in it. And, um, you know, and... Um, I love the muscle See, you're too young to remember. I remember the muscle car. Yeah. yeah I, well, you know, when you start getting into the GTX, the Roadrunner, remember the Plymouth Roadrunner, the Barracuda? 442. 440, was that a 440 Magnum? No, 442 was old. Okay. No, I'm thinking of the Chrysler's. 440. Uh, Challenger, yeah, Dodge Challenger. Yeah, uh, Barracuda, which yeah. is coming back. Right. Well, that was the it, that was Plymouth's answer to Dodge Challenger, wasn't it? Well, Pretty no, much. Plymouth and Challenger were all Chrysler products. No, no. I mean, it was Dodge Challenger, Plymouth Barracuda. No, they were all different styles, completely. Different and GTX styles. was a special. Maybe yeah, a special. All different. You had the Super Bs that were only available in yellow. <laughs> you had the, uh, the 442 Rally 350. They even demonstrated the horn on, on the old Roadrunner. It even went beep, beep, <laughs> just like a cartoon. Oh, they were just, that was just a whole different era. Whole better, yeah. different when, era. When gas was cheap and they gave you gifts when you went to the gas station. Well, they were just great cars. Gave you. Like, I don't go, I don't like they electric. They give you gifts. I yeah. don't want electric. I will never buy electric. No, I, uh, if, it's, if it's Tesla, Nikola Tesla electric. Holy crap, I was blown away. I was totally impressed. Yeah, they kill. Zero to 60 in like a few seconds. That's what he's saying. I wonder if it's No, they true. did it. They demonstrated it. Yeah, I don't know. The owners know. of Tesla Motors. I don't like electric. I don't care how fast it is. Oh, well, it's technology. I like a no, it's not. So it's a gas bring engine. Look at today's engines. But it beats, it beats the evil big oil. No. Like beating Big Pharma. Oh, stop it with And the, Big uh, Agra. Stop with No, the, uh, the evil, evils of capitalism and the CEOs and, are and, demons. And, and They're demons. You, and what do you want? What do you want That to they pay their fair share in taxes. They do. No, don't they don't. Yourself. How do you know? You think Je Jeff Bezos and General Electric pay their fair share? I don't know. Do you know? How, how do you know more because, than anybody Because else? I read articles online. How do you know they're true? Because they're, they're, they're very detailed. <laughs> so it was conspiracy theory articles. They're detailed. Oh, a lot of those became true facts. A lot of them, did, most of them didn't. Let's be honest. You, Come you, on, you, man. Honest, you honestly believe and think that the fat cats pay their fair share in taxes? Oh, they give more away than people realize. Maybe it's not the proper percentage when they're giving away hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. Come on, man. That's not too bad. No, you pay, you pay your they're fair share. And why are Republicans bitching and moaning about freaking food stamps for the poor? Yeah, no, why can't he's crying. Republicans do anything for anybody else, too. That's why I'm not voting Republican at all. I am a Republican. I'm going all Democrat in this next election. Because the Republicans, like you say, they sit on their butt and they do Listen. nothing. They're and all my other Republican friends are the same thing. I am not voting Republican. You know, you Those know, people who, don't do a damn. So you, there's your answer on that. You one. know who is a fantastic Republican? Is Dwight D. Eisenhower. But you're going way back. I've just got through saying things are not. But the he, was same the he was the last. He was the last. Even Nixon Reagan, wasn't. Reagan, Reagan was great. Everybody loved. Oh, Reagan. they wouldn't like Reagan today. When I said Reagan was great, that was the 80s. You're yeah. talking 50s with Ike. 
But I'm saying everybody, you know... The, yeah, what I mean is he was progressive, is what I mean. Well, he, so was he, he cared. Well, so was uh, uh, Reagan with Star Wars, the gender, the whole bit. No, I mean caring about the little guy. Well, that plus the Star Wars. You foresaw what we do to defend ourselves. Today, there's... A, I agree with Boehner. There is no Republican Party. Oh, they Boehner, they screwed, over, they screwed that man over. They fired him. And, because he spoke up. He didn't fire him. He, re he retired. I wonder if, if Chris Cuomo ever interviewed John Boehner. Oh, sure. Because, sure. um, you these know... People get these ideas. But, like, but, uh, nobody pays taxes. I'm like, where have you been? These companies have paid huge sums of taxes. Now, uh, um, Barack Obama has... A, I noticed now that he's retired, when he, when he goes on talk shows and gets interviewed... He could very easily spill the beans on how they hey, they screwed him over for eight years, Obama but he doesn't do it. But he doesn't do it. Obama is class. But if somebody screwed if somebody screwed you over for eight years, wouldn't you explode on an interview? I would. I would. I'd, I'd let some things go. I See, would. I, you know, I've had about enough. Of this I mean, thing. Turtle Face Mitch McConnell says. Well, the one guy I never liked, and he's quiet and, for some reason for years. I don't know why he's so quiet. I never liked this guy. You trust his face. He looks so much like John Rokich. Is that nude Gingrich? Oh, that pu that bloated well, toad left his pregnant wife to go with this bitch he's married to now. He's the one that that convinced uh, Bill Clinton to gut welfare as we know it, oh, to gut the Gingrich whole social is, service system. Well, you don't hear anybody talking about it. You know what you? that son of a bitch wanted? Yeah, I know, but you don't hear anybody talking about it. No, his, listen. You? He wanted the children of single mothers that were collecting food stamps to do work as custodians in, in school. Yeah, well, he doesn't care. Child it's labor. This is not his family. Well, I'm sure his his grandkids and kids are living high on a That's hog. That's right. And he looks like a hog, actually. Oh, he's an ass. I don't know how he ever got elected into politics. He's a jerk off. He really is. Gingrich? Oh. He's like, he's like Rush Limbaugh, but, but more of a douchebag. Who's that other weirdo that's conspiracy guy? Alex Jones? Alex he's Jones. He's case. He's, he's from mentally sick. He's from Texas. He is mentally sick. Yeah, he's, he's up there with Sean Hannity, who is, according to the psychologist who watched him, said he is uh, he's schizophrenic and he is, uh, suffers from severe paranoia. He, uh, the only smart thing... Alex Jones ever did is when he investigated the infamous Bohemian Grove in Northern California, well, or where the elitists, that, so. there's pagan gods that they worship, and you're bringing up stuff nobody talks about. Yeah, it used to be a, a rock and roll group haven for bands. They, so you're bringing up stuff that is not important. No, we're talking about the New World Order and elitists. Nobody knows about this. It's so small and minor. Because the media doesn't discuss it. Why don't they? Because they can't. Why not? They'll get can't they'll get fired. No, they won't. We're talking about the oligarch, the New World Order. Oh, oh here you go again with the conspiracy. Oh, New World Listen, Order oligarch. Listen, Jimmy, stop. Reverend this. Reverend Bill was another one that doubted the, the the NWO's existence. Yeah, New World Order. Jimmy, I don't know where you get this whole process from. We, the just, system is rigged, my friend. How do you know? You, you you have too much trust in our system, and you don't have enough. Why why don't you? Because it's a it's a fact that it's corrupt and and rigged. It's a fact. What do you mean it's a fact? George Soros, the he, Koch brothers. He, he's a nut job. Soros is sick. He finances terror groups, and and he also pays off Washington uh, people people in Washington. There's more bullshit than just George Soros. And so does the so Koch. What's that mean about a new world order? Everybody knows what he is. He's an asshole. And so does the Koch brothers pay people yeah, off. Yeah, they're not no screaming prizes either. So what's this new world order thing? Uh, they're not doing anything. They won't get away with it. They can't. Checks and balances is called. Yeah, what's the other term they use? Secret societies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Secret society. Like the skull and crossbones. Skull and bones. Illuminati. Yeah, yeah. You know. The, uh, the, uh, the Freemasons. The Freemasons. The, uh, Masons, all that. Uh, you wonder. You the, young, wonder. the Young Rascals. No, that was a 60s. Movie. No, that was a secret society. <laughs> the Young Rascals. What, uh, what names are that? Paul Revere and the Raiders. <laughs> one of my favorite bands ever. And they even wore the Revolutionary War ruffle, ruffles on their shirt. My favorite bands in history. I like the animals. Land of the Rising Sun. Bird. Yeah. Feels a little better here. Yeah. 
I was watching a rerun of the old Yankees old timers game. No. I couldn't get over run, some of those guys. Uh, Jim Bouton, how old he got. Um, was Ron Bloomberg looked good though. Never heard of him. Jim Bouton, yeah. Oh, he's he's from Ridgewood. Boy, that's what he asked for forty yeah. years ago. I know Parcells is from like Bordeaux or something. Bordeaux. Bill Parcells. He's an, he's an yeah, you don't have. I mean, I mean, I know when when the game is over, he wants to be left alone. But he really wanted to be left alone. He's a jerk. You know. Just, uh, but I understand how the New York press is. You know, they're kind of they want to win all the time. And and one you know, thing is one thing. But they're no different than any other yeah. city's press. I don't understand the big thing, New York press. So what? What do you think other cities do? You know, so what's their point? I, don't, I, I just don't get it. They're no different. Well, New York can be rough on you. Other cities aren't on their teams. You mean I like, say, what is your point? You mean like booing people, booing people that are in a slump, you know? No, they all do that. That's part of the sports writer to make. He's got to write something. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all BS. Yeah. Well, Giancarlo Stan and Aaron Judge are, are they're both doing decently. No, I could care less. Yeah. I'm not a Yankee fan. You know, and yet most Yankee fans, I I love the challenge and they don't even know the history of their Yankees. Yeah, I like the Red Sox. I don't like the Red Sox. They well, don't know the history of the Yankees. Well, I like I, I love the Orioles when Earl Weep, the 1970s Orioles with oh, Earl Weep. I mean, but Yankee, like I said, Yankee fans don't know the history of their Yankees. No, they don't. Do you? I told yeah, you. the Baltimore Orioles That's became right. the Highlanders. That's right. Most and people say they became the Highlanders. Like, no, now, that was later. Now, now, just think of it. If the Orioles would have stood in Baltimore, Babe Ruth might have very well been an Oriole yeah. for his whole life. Yeah. That's why the article, and I kept it at home, it says, Thank you, Baltimore. So there you go. And they and Maryland, the Maryland State flag is very pretty. I I think so. You love your team, you better learn the history of it. Star Spangled City. Well, Francis Scott Key. Bad crime now. Though. Alan Poe, Edgar Allan Poe. It's bad oh, crime. Oh, yeah. You notice that uh, that female mayor of Baltimore had a hands-off policy when they were rioting that time. She she's like didn't bad, even. She's got a bad attitude. She didn't do anything about it. She the one that resigned. She, she's very pretty, a black, black girl. Yeah. Not that pretty. Yeah. I don't know. Did she resign? I think so. They're forced yeah. out. Now that the was that a, the guy who ran for president in 2016 was he a Maryland governor? Who? The the that was in the Democratic debates. He was from Maryland. Uh, what's his name? He was, he was, he sounded really impressive and smart as hell. Oh, I need a name to be, I don't know. I think he was Governor of Maryland. I don't know. Uh, Not Spiro Agnew, of course. No, geez, he's Vice President under what, Nixon? No, he was a Mar he was Maryland Governor. He was? Absolutely. Agnew? Spiro T. Agnew? Spiro Agnew? I had an Agnew watch, my parents got me, and it ran backwards. Because he was so stupid. Oh. His watch ran backwards, had his face on it. <laughs> Just didn't relax. Yeah, who was that guy? Um, that that so, had that they got him. He's Greek. Yeah, but still. Spiral. Yeah, who was that guy that um, they got in his case for the way he spelled tomato? Or Say, um, um, oh man, Republican uh, Vice President. Oh, up, uh, oh uh, God. Looks just like, they used to claim he looked just like Robert Redford. No, he looked like the he guy. Was that Dan used to, Quayle. Dan Quayle. He looked like the guy that used to hang out at the, at the Players Club that looked like he had a helmet on his head. The uh, Dave? Video was so what if he misspelled a word? Yeah, why didn't it nitpick? When, if, you're, if you're, the more of a celebrity you are, the more you're under a microscope. I don't care that you added an E or an S or whatever. I don't Because care. the paparazzis have nothing better to do. Oh. They have you know, nothing. Like, again, get to your point. What's your point? What's your reason for this? Why are you doing this? Where does it matter? I said, it's just, nobody cares. Oh. Like I said, they can go on. It's tabloid. And on, but nobody's buying it. 
Nobody buys into it. They're like, stop it. They don't even talk about the National Enquirer anymore. Oh, that's drag. What's the, uh, yeah, no, he used, to, he used to talk about it all the time. Now you don't hear anything. That, see, that, that's one drawback of mainstream media. You have um, headline news one week, and the next week, you don't hear about it anymore. Well, it's not them. It's not their fault because people get bored too easily. What are you supposed to do about the human being? Like their attention span is very that's short. That's the point. That's the point. They get bored. Like a cat. Because they're, because the America, American public is like a cat. They get Selfish, bored. freaking creatures. CNN gets right to the point. There's nothing they don't let you know about. They always have both sides represented. Unlike Fox, which is Russian television, that's a propaganda network. It's not news. Yeah. CNN is not known as the network of yeah. record for nothing. You know, it was, was um, weird when um, um, at, when Anthony Bourdain was interviewing this politician in Russia, like a week before he got assassinated by the powers that be. He was running against Vla Vladimir Putin. Anthony he, Bourdain interviewed him? Yeah, Anthony Bourdain got very political. He interviewed this man who was running against Vladimir Putin and said, aren't you afraid since every opposition of yeah, Vladimir Putin was, was, yeah, right. And he says, I have been a Russian and lived here all my life. I am not afraid of it. Then the next week, he, he gets bumped well, off. They tried to poison that guy and his daughter about a few months ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in the United Kingdom, no less. In the United Kingdom, no wonder England got pissed yeah. off. You know, you're sending agents into you. And now Trump wants to have a meeting with Un and Putin. He likes these de military he likes dictators. An and he, why don't you get the Turk, Duterte from the Philippines and that Al-Assad from Syria as well? Have them all But there. he's never nice to good people, you notice that? He's alienated our allies. He insults them. He's a moron. He's trying to change it. They, 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 they can't stand him. The European leaders. Well, Trump's, Trump's in trouble. I, he's going to severely hurt the Republican Party. It's already hurt. Which I'm glad, which I'm happy about. You know, the uh, they finally, uh, the Oscar Ma the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile finally uh, drove off, huh? Well, I don't know. They left the no, I... Maybe they're working. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, that's right. They probably go nationwide. Oh, I, I'm sure the central. I'm, sh I'm sure the AC and the Oscar Mayer Wienermobiles work. Can't be worse than this. This fucking place. They all. This is like case case study on how not to run a business. Urinals have been out for three, four, five weeks. Pendulum. You don't have to ask a pendulum. Is. Is the general manager of this establishment told to shut the central air conditioner off? Son of a bitch, wait until I get on Google and, and I'll tear this, this, this franchise owner a new asshole. And then if he wants to meet up with me, well, I'll, I'll smack him around. Of this franchise? Oh, wait, wait. Care at all about keeping the clients comfortable. Does this franchise owner of this establish, establishment care? In, in Hasbro Kites. In Hasbro Kites, where we're sitting right now, care about the customer being comfortable. Ask it again. No, no, it'll it'll go. No, no, no it, that's no. too long. No, you always stop at one thing. You got no patience, man. No, I know how they work. Stop it and ask it again. And you're, See, you're now it's going all, the way. No, all James. But then is, again, you're holding your arm up too. That all, you should be based down. All James is always right. I, oh, stop it! Listen, listen, listen. See, no, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. Which is not a surprise. Um. Is there something about the Indian culture where the men are just like natural born assholes? Yes. Well, they definitely disrespect their women. <coughs> I 
hate to say it, they definitely did. Now, now, if we were these, if we were politically correct neoliberals, we would be so afraid to to speak of such things because we don't want to offend anyone. You remember Sal always running out to Long Island? So yeah, and and, up and up seven up route seven uh, route seventeen Primus. Sal Cotri used to always do something up there. Oh, where? Yeah, like like it was like every weekday he would be riding up Route 17. No, I didn't know that. Unless he was going to a diner up there. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Was our Indian friend Sal Cotri keeping secrets from us that he would would be embarrassed to tell us? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, that's sneaky, that's sneaky, Pete. I knew it. You should really try to stable, stabilize your elbow. Though. All right, you know what? Because you don't want to. Okay, hold on. Hold Most, on. No help from you. You know what I mean? You're oh no, you. Okay, I'm not only going to do that. I'm going to rest my hand on my forehead. Okay, uh, tell me something, and then I'll repeat it. Well, give me a second. Let me think. All right, just think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is, um, Football. Yeah. Do an awful lot of people still talk about Billy's arm even today? Do an awful lot of people still talk about William H. Morrow's throwing arm even today when he was a quarterback? I knew the answer anyway, though. Saying yes, yeah, because you're a man guy, that's why. Yeah, I know that. When I go to Ridgewood, everybody knows who's yeah. still. They said, they but, said. but this was a this was a good idea of me of me sta making my elbow and, and hands. Yeah, it's got to be stabilized. Stationized, stationized. It's got to be very stabilized. Um, I got one. Um, oh, uh, is um, Billy's new... Uh, rock quartz crystal, um, genuine, real rock quartz crystal. The one that he got recently. Yeah. Let it, much of a swing, really. It's back and forth. No, 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 no. Let it go. Let it go. Be patient. No, it's going clockwise. I'll be back when I have a cigarette, all right? Okay, see, it's going clockwise. I can't believe they can't give us a year. You know, they we should, really... We shouldn't have to ask. They really could crank it up more than they're doing. I mean, it's over 90 degrees Fahrenheit, for God's sakes. For God's sakes, as Archie Bunker used to say. I gotta, I gotta, get, a, I gotta get a refill of coffee anyway. I'll catch you later. Beep, beep, do, 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 do. In the summertime when the weather is fine, get, 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 get. you can touch the sky. Do, do, do. The schools are let out early because of the temperature, yes. but this establishment can't crank up their, their central air. That's right. She was telling me she, she feels really bad for the employees. Oh, one of them just said, I'm going home. I'm getting out of here. This is not right. Yeah. I told her about the the um, the liquor store thing, and she says, you never... I said, call the Board of Health? Yeah. yeah. She, said, she Health. says, you know, you never know how people, what's going on in people's lives at any given yes, day. Yes, you do. It doesn't matter what's going on. But if, but if you some, can still be pleasant. But, it, but you, can be still, you can still answer somebody. That's right. You can still be pleasant. Even grunt. I've got cancer, huh? Shot. That's what I told And you talked to everybody. I said, okay, so you don't see me coming around being a bitch. Okay, I'm so good to all of you. So don't don't tell me about your problems too, because I know what problems are. So yeah. don't give me this crap. I mean you still converse, you still smile, uh -huh. you still say hi to people. Yep. So, you still talk to people. Well, I've got things in my mind. What I don't? So you have to take it out. You're the only one that has things in your mind? So they're the only one with issues, yeah. with problems. Well, right? I think maybe you've got a mental problem. You can't handle issues. That's your problem. Yeah. But what they have to learn is not to take their issues out on the world, on everyone else. Well, they didn't. Just on you. You said they were nice to the girl that came in. So well, they have selected Well, she was, in her, she was in her early 20s. And well, what's that got to do with it? Because they're, because they're assholes and they were flirting That's with her. It. They're morons who don't know how to communicate. And flirting like that is going to get you weird. 
Yeah, she wants to go out with you because you're really cool. Stop it. Yeah, you're the manager. Stop it. You're at a liquor store, you're being nice. She doesn't give a rat's fucking ass about you. You know, really. Yeah. These goddamn people, are they? Yeah. And, we're, make me and we're, we're all customers, you know, I mean, you can grunt at me like a caveman. Say something. At least say fuck you. Say something. Say something. Respond. I, they said Crystal got fired, you said, right? That's what I hear. Wow. Usually she takes leaves of absences and then returns, you know? Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I was laughing when they called the, 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 the girl got a happy meal. They call it a happy meal. I'm sure, I, I'm, I'm sure these happy people meal, are not yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah. Happy. Air conditioning packet inside. There's a new infomercial called, I think it's called Arctic Cool. It's a swamp no, no, cooler. I know, I know. I've seen it. A little box there. You put water in it. Yeah, that filters through this. It's nothing new. Secret filter. They, they've been using those in Arizona for decades in the, um, the desert. Well, why didn't it come out here sooner than you wondered? All they have are these big units that are $379. You have to wheel around and put the tubes through an open window. I have one in my basement. 10,000 BTUs, never used. Brand new. Well, then why do you have it? Because it, was on, it, it was on sale, and um, you know why? Because the only place I could plug it in, because the landlord doesn't have 220 amps throughout oh. the whole apartment, it would blow the circuit breakers. Oh, you're the 110s? Yeah, because he's a, he's a cheap fucking, I call him the, the Italian slumlord. Yeah, you know my ex asshole comes up and comes. No. In other words, collect the, like Donald Trump's father, collect the rent. And don't, Black, and don't fix anything. Al Black's in. Racist. Oh, that I didn't know. Yeah, he didn't like, oh, well, he wouldn't rent the Blacks. Well, Scumbag. Well, I guess the apple didn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> I think it got a little more rotten. Rotten? My, our windows are turning into sawdust. They're so old. Is there somebody you can call, uh, rent bureau or something? Most probably a Lodi building inspector, like they really do anything. I told, I called the animal control office and telling them there's a possum that's sleeping in my garbage can that doesn't want to leave. Really? They said there's nothing we can do about wildlife. I says, well, you why do you have an animal control officer? Then Come why, officer. why are you, at, why are you representing the animal control department? What do you do? What do you do? Oh, there's nothing we can do. Then she says, oh, by the way, uh, now now we have uh, coyotes and wild turkey in Lodi. I says, what if what if coyotes are hanging out in my yard? Are you gonna come? Well, it depends. I said, what do you mean it depends? I said, seriously, what, what, you, uh, uh, you. Maybe you should just seriously list this and write a letter to the senator or congressman. Do they, they get paid from the tax dollars, their salaries, right? Write a letter. And write probably. A letter saying, I just so you know what's going on in certain towns around the northern yeah. Jersey area. Yeah. And, pro and they probably what? get good benefits. But get to the point quick. I called about a pause bubble, but they told me blah, 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 blah. Part two, blah, blah, blah. You know, coyotes and this and that. Yeah. It's a fucked up area. State, state or whatever you want to call it's it. It's like Department of Public Works in the wintertime. If you're, why plow the center of the street when the cars leave, why not, why not plow the side? Well, you also plow everybody's park driveway in. Oh, it's yeah. these, most, a lot of these people are elderly. They can't get out. They can't show up. But, but I've seen them in the winter. They cruise the center of the, of the road. And they block the driveways. It just, right. It's got one blade and it just throws everything to the right. right. So so it's common sense. When cars leave in the morning, you plow you plow the side. If you have Walter in side parking, you plow the side. My one buddy who worked for Paratus for the town and had to plow whatever he's there was one guy in one neighborhood stood out there by his driver with a shotgun i said don't come near my fucking property and plow him in yeah he stood there he said he stood out there with a shotgun you're fucking people don't do it it's that simple don't do it and then the town says oh you can't save your after you dig your car out you can't save your spot well uh my spot it, it's my spot, it's my driveway. Well, you busted your ass. It's my it. driveway, it's for nobody else. What's your point, right, Jimmy? It's my driveway, it's not for anybody else. Like, what do you mean I can't save my spot? 
That what is, is the, it, that spot is only for me. Whatever happened to you're getting paid by taxpayers' dollars, you have a job to do. Oh. Whatever happened to that? Oh, it's getting hot again. You feel it? Yeah. And a little bit for a second, which didn't do a damn and some, thing. And some DPW guy start with a big hero sandwich in his mouth is yelling at me saying oh somebody reported made a complaint about something he's trying to act like like a gangster being a tough guy you know i says listen if anybody reports anything i'm i'm sure they have a Why valid, don't you valid write a reason letter to your congressman or senator or, 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 or county yeah do something let them aware, let them know. I'd like to hear what their stupid response will be. Yeah. We're doing the best we can. You know what Hackensack Board of Health told me when uh, Pathmark used to be over there? There was a place called Bagel Buffet, right? It's still there. I noticed that the person handling the money in the cash register was not changing the gloves and then going touching food after touching yeah, the money that's, that's, that's real good. and board that's nice. and the health department said there's no evidence that bacteria occurs on money and can get transferred to food i says are you out of your mind i says every 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 low life in god's green earth touches money i says you know how many hands there's no evidence that's there's no I, evidence I bet there is i bet there is I know there is. And you know they did a test study of ATM machines and they found filthy uh, bacteria. Gas, pump, gas pumps are horrendously filthy. Uh, yeah. I forget what all. No, you tell me money, money, touching food doesn't transfer back to yeah. You're a liar. Viruses. You're a liar. They found vir all kinds of viruses on ATM uh, touch screens. Yeah, you're a liar. No, they just don't want to fucking do anything. They want, they want to get paid for doing nothing. So instead of investigating and contacting the establishment, they do nothing. That's right. They lie. There's no proof. Then there, there used to be a buffet in Garfield, a Spanish Portuguese restaurant called the Pescador, and they weren't, they didn't have cleaned it. Or Pescador. Well, in this case, yeah. it was Pescador because yeah. they, they didn't have clean dishes. People were going, with the spoon, ding, 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 I on the dirty you dish. I NBC years ago, they did a test of numerous restaurants in New York. They were the swab, and they did the Petri dish, the whole thing. Oh. They found more bacteria on the plates than on the restaurant's toilet seats. What about the vendors in New York City where they store the food? Oh, my God, Co cockroaches, rats, mice. Well, they've had cockroaches here, I think. Pestilence. Oh yeah, you see, you seen Topo Gigio. Well, I've seen mice. No mice, ones. rather. But, but Russell told me about the roaches. Oh, Russell. He's not here anymore. No, he went to Amazon over here. Oh, he because he's smart. He, he he realized he can only go so far. Here. They don't award their best people. Russell would have been great. Well, Rush, Russell, you know every in and out of this place. Russell's the wrong race, yeah, well, which is let's yeah. get out of here, Jimmy. It's hot. Yeah, you know what? You're absolutely freaking right. It's just uncomfortable. You can't even sit and relax. You know, you know, it's really bad to have contempt for your customers if you have a business. It's really not a good thing. I don't argue. If they have a complaint, a viable complaint. So what's the big deal? You turn the you turn the AC. Why is your urinal out for four weeks? Both your both both. The other one works. You mean you have a business? Call the plumber. If you that should not be out for more than one day. If your toilet is overflowing, call the freaking one day plumber. That should be out. <sighs> well, I'm proud. Uh, Jimmy, not there. Again, my dad was right. You can't get through to people. You tell them. And don't listen. It goes just hits the wall, bounces off. They just don't you can't get through. They just don't care. I they told you. I told you. I told shit. you. They don't give a shit. Your rules aren't working. This isn't working. I said I don't work here. I shouldn't have to tell you. You should know. Your maintenance guy, six to in the morning. You know he's got a piss of shit sometime during the day, and he never flushed anything and doesn't. 
didn't recognize that this thing is not flushing? Hey, doesn't, Come a, on. doesn't a pilot at Teterboro Airport have a checklist? You've got a checklist, yes. And check your planes before yep. they take off? You better. Well, what's wrong with checking in business? Does that stuff? make sense, Jimmy? That's why. It makes sense. Oh, she's it's, called, it's called good management. And they don't listen to good, it. smart, common sense management. I've told them here, why don't you have a checklist? First thing every morning, go each zone. You right. Little stick up thermometers. Check if it's cool or too hot or whatever. Fix it. Go this. Go into each bathroom. Does it work? Right. And I said, no, you, you all don't do it. You don't do it. I don't give a flying I fuck. I said, I tell you what to do, but you're not doing it. What do they train you at this Burger U or whatever you call it, McDonald's? What do they te teach you? Nothing. Apparently, you, apparently, they're not training you, Jimmy. You know, the, right? you know, the management at the Dollar Tree has no control over anything. The main office does. That's it, not. It's good. like they can't manage. They're no, not allowed to manage. That's right. They don't trust their people. When it comes no, down. they say we 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 don't control anything. The lighting, the air conditioning, the. Oh, that's stupid. That's dumb. And I said, what do you control? Oh, uh, the uh, employee schedules. Oh, whoop de doo Oh, you're real. You're you're this real is stork. Sick. When you hire somebody to be a manager, but you want them to manage, that makes a lot of sense. That makes that makes a hell of a lot of sense. Yeah, unbelievable. This has been a Mega Life Twenty One production.